Hello, Leslie here. I just wanted to come on here and share a lesson that I learned um, about when I went to the nail shop recently. So I went to the nail shop a couple days ago, and they've been closed because of this whole COVID thing for months now. And um, so there were a lot of things that were different, but it was nice to go back to the same nail shop that I would usually go to because the prices are good, they know what they're doing, right? Um, so, I knew in my head what kind of, co which colors I wanted, because I was going to go for red and gold for my 49ers, um, because football season just has started recently, um, but I did go on Pinterest and I did get examples of, you know, nail designs and colors and shapes and stuff that I liked, um, and I showed the lady that was, that did my nails the picture and I told her I wanted this but I wanted it with red and gold um, and then I just sit back and let her do what she was made to do right so I was sitting there um, with her hands with my hands in hers literally and she's working on my nails and I'm just sitting there like this right and she's doing whatever she needs to do she puts the thing on she glues them on she cuts them a certain way, she files them a certain way, then she busts out the drill and right buffs it and all this kind of stuff. And the whole time I'm sitting there and I'm realizing that it's sort of a metaphor for life in that, you know, we have an idea, once we make our mind up about what we want our life to look like, um, what the outcome to look like, then we have a better idea of where we're going and put that good energy out there to the universe and then it works out um that's i believe how we manifest is by putting out what we what we want um and yeah so the nails that i got are these red ones red and gold for the 49ers and it was really fun but the lessons that i learned was that once you have that idea in your head to go with it and to make a decision that that's what you're going to go with and then once you're clear you communicate um you know what it is and then that person um in my case the nail technician got understood what the heck I wanted um and you know gave me that um but I believe that my higher power knows my heart's desire knows um, the things that would make me happy and I believe that it's all worked out for me and the final outcome is what I want and so I just need to trust right let go give them give my creator my hands and just let them lead and let let him or her God or whatever you resonate with um, ancestors to do their thing because they know what they're doing um, and a lot of times I will get in the way of my own progress. I'll just be real. Um, many times I've not even tried something new because I was afraid of failure. And no shame in it, but, you know, you live and you learn. So I've learned that you only live once. This is not a dress rehearsal. Um, so if you want to do something, um, you know, you should make it happen sooner rather than later, um, but yeah, I just was all in my thoughts this time at the nail shop, and I was just thinking about how I get in my own way, and if I just trust, and if I make a decision about what I want my life to look like, and I am a co-creator, co-designer in my life, because I am a powerful being, um, you know, the sky's the limit. So, as long as I put out good energy, I believe I will get good energy back. I've seen that um, over these last few months. And, yeah, I mean, you never know when you could learn a lesson. So, I'm sitting there at the nail shop getting my nails did, and I have no idea. I didn't go to the cosmetology school or anything, so I don't know how they were going to make my nails um, what I wanted, but I communicated what I wanted after I made a decision and then my nails came out. Mom, I'm super happy about how they came out. Um, 
and of course having the picture helps, but again, you know, just to know that you don't have to know the how, how things are all going to work out, you just have to know that they are going to work out, that they are already worked out. So keep it positive, sending everyone lots of love and aloha, hope you have a great rest of your day, take care, bye.